Hey, everybody. Hello, we're live. Wagwan, Hello. ladies and gentlemen. All right, cool. So, um, thank you for coming, everybody that made it so far. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is and you're just joining us now, this is our first ever official Coda Discord community stream. Today, we will be teaching some system mechanics for Coda. Um, going over some questions from the people that we have here, our lovely, our lovely audience and newer players. And, um, yeah, answering questions. If you guys want to play some matches, we'll sort of give you guys some, some helpful tips and things, point out things that you're doing that could be improved, um, if you would like that. But yeah, that's the gist of what's going on today. Just a friendly open environment so we can get everybody learning Coda and having fun and not feeling bad when you get bodied or not knowing why you got bodied. Welcome. All right. Um, so I will introduce myself. My name is Ivan Uzdrip. I, uh, we also have Blaze Donuts. Say hello. What up? What hey. Up? Jay Destroyer. Hey, what's up, everybody? So we are the mods of the Coda server, and we also will be teaching you guys how to play today. Cool. Uh, all right. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start up my fire up my game. Um, just before I start, I want to let you guys know I am using a Lua script for training mode. So we were generous enough, uh, I mean, Peon was generous enough to give us a nice Lua script for training. And basically what that does is when you start up your emulator, right? And select your characters like I am doing so right now. Let's do Omega Red and Storm, right? manual All right cool so i have an on-screen display which is showing all the nice inputs i'm doing right now isn't that cool um yeah so i have everything showing the inputs as you can see omega red is not losing health no matter how many times i hit him we have hit boxes on showing where we can get hurt and where we can do damage that's a little complicated for now, so what I'm going to go do is go ahead and turn that off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm still getting a little bit used to this. Okay, cool. Um, and let's turn... Uh, cool, let's turn those off for now. Excellent. Cool. So yeah, it also shows our input display on the bottom as well as our input history on the left. It has a lot of more advanced features. It's really cool, and I think it's really awesome. So props in for giving us that. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's jump right in. Um, just want you guys to take note of what's going on on the side here. So obviously up is up, down is down, left, right. These are all our directions, cardinal directions for you. If you see these symbols... These are our punches, so blue will be light, yellow will be medium, red will be hard. Same thing for kicks, so you're going to see a little boot coming up right now. Light, medium, hard. Okay. So let's jump right into uh, system mechanics. I want to discuss movement in Coda. So movement takes place when you're holding left, right, so that's how you move forward and back, down to duck up to jump but if you've played a fighting game you know this stuff already uh what's special about coda is since it's the first game technically in the marvel series of games um it has super jumping which was a feature that was made for this game so by doing that you press down and up super jumping will take you to the top of the screen and you can drift facing on the direction that you're pressing cool uh along with that this was one of the first games to have dashing in it so dashing can be do done in one of two ways. Tapping forward, forward to dash forward. Double tapping back to dash backwards. Or they have some input uh, shortcuts for that. So if you tap two punches while holding forward or back, you will begin to dash in the direction that you chose. If you just hit two punches in neutral, you will dash forward. So, you can cancel your dashes, either of them, forward or backwards, by pressing down. You see that it carries a little bit of momentum. 
Or you can cancel it with jump, which will make your jumps a little bit longer. You can see Storm will land right there. But if I dash cancel my jump, I'll land right in front of Omega Red. That's a full screen of jumping. So every character can do this. This is a mechanic that everyone uses. I know some games, certain characters are not allowed to dash. That's not the case with Coda. Everybody is free to dash. Along with the super jump here, uh, I know that's just explaining the shortcuts for dashing. There's also shortcuts for super jumping. So unlike dashes, which only requires two button inputs, um, super jump with buttons requires pressing all three kicks. So when you press all three kicks, you will initiate a super jump. Now there are two characters in this game that can air dash, and that's Storm and Omega Red, the characters I have here. To air dash, for Storm, has she's special, she has an eight-way air dash. So she can dash in eight directions, being up, down, top left, left, down left, down towards, forward, up towards, and those are all the directions she can dash. Whereas Omega Red can only dash forward. Just as a side note, Omega Red can cancel his air dash by pressing back. So you can shorten it if you don't want to make a risk and make a really long jump. Or if you just maybe play mind games with your opponent. Okay. Um, along with this, there are two characters in the game that can double jump. And that's Psylocke and Cyclops. So I'm going to pull away to our... Uh, Marty and Jay Destroyer, who are on um, Parsec, and they'll explain double jumping to you guys. Just give me one moment, and when you guys are ready, go right ahead. Alright, hello everybody. So, we have the two characters here, Cyclops and Psylocke, that can double jump. Now, double jumps are really cool because it resets your air actions. Explain air so, actions. Like, air actions, within this game, you get two normal moves that you can press within your jumping action and then from that you can't do anything else but with double jumps it acts as a modifier for you to be able to, to press another button so you can do nutty stuff like this uh, block for a second so Cyclops a uh, big tip I do is I do down heavy punch and if it's blocked you can jump cancel it to come down with another one so that if they try to anti-air you, you're gonna bam. So uh, I have a question, as a, as a new, and I don't use double jump characters, so this is a real question. Uh, can you double jump out of a super jump? Uh, I don't believe. Yeah, you, right? uh, you can super jump, and then you can do another double jump yeah, after that. That's the thing. And then the same with uh, like, if you just do a normal jump, you're still limited to the uh, another two limited. Like that's the maximum. So if you do another one, you can only do two in the air again. So. Okay. Um, but if you're super jumping, you can infinitely do, well, with Psylocke at least, you can infinitely do light punch and light kick. So So it removes the restrictions on normals. Yeah. And it looks like double jump, jumping carries uh, it. lifts the restrictions on normal limitations. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. So, like, uh, going to the corner? So with Psylocke, she can hit you into a, a launcher and basically keep going like that. So it's not only limited to a regular jump where you can only do two normal moves. Okay, great. Um, cool. I'm going to switch back over to me. Thanks for showing us. No problem. Uh-oh, hold on. My, my game's being a little chuggy. Let me switch over. I wonder why that's happening. Sasuke. Alright, um, tell you what. I'm going to switch back over to you guys. Can you guys please explain meter gaining while I try to get this under wraps? So, so for moment. characters okay, like Tylock, she's able to uh, suspend herself in the air for a while with her projectiles. And that's a really good way to build meter. And kind of keep do a keep away game if you're interested in something like that. 
But only Psylocke and I think Iceman are capable of doing this. If you do it with Cyclops, you can only do one object blast in the air. Or can you only do one object blast in the air, Josh? So, uh, you can do this. It looks to be only only one, only yeah. One. So some characters oh, don't wait. abide by that rule. Well, you can do it on the way down, right? Yeah, you could do it. You could do it more than oh, once, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's not something I normally do, that's why I'm not completely familiar with it. But again, with this game, it's a precursor to all the versus games, so there's a bunch of features in this that are extremely, uh, uh, what would you say, it gives you a lot of freedom to do what you want. So super jumping, ca super jump characters could just suspend themselves in the air for a while. You can even do supers in the air, do a lot of stuff. Um, but the whole point of meter gaining is to at least get half meter to where it turns orange and then you're able to tech throws. So if you do not have this meter built to at least have a orange, then you cannot tech throws. Do you want to show them? Josh. I'm sorry, say that one more time. <laughs> you want to show them the, um, the tech throws to sure. show them like what they need meter to do it? So you're going to throw me, right? So he's at full meter right now, and it will take half bar if he takes his throw. Let's see. And then I'm going to do it again, and he's going to take it again. And you can either do an early tech throw or a late tech throw. Certain characters like Psylocke and um, Iceman can only tech the beginning of a throw. I think it's counter thrower, so it has to be Iceman, Sentinel, uh, Colossus, and Psylocke. If they don't tech it immediately, then they are going to be thrown like throw me. I can't tech it from there because I'm a counter drawing character. But do it again. But yeah. you have to do it at the very beginning to do a, a counter attack. Okay. But if you don't have any meter, you can't tech it through at all. Let's see. See, yeah, I tried to tech, so I couldn't do it. That's why meter is very important in this game. Sometimes you don't want to use uh, your super meter just to save it for that throw tech. Yeah, because a throw can lead into a, a very big combo and it's very damaging to you. <laughs> It's not really good to take a big combo. Yeah. But um, certain characters use their meter obviously for their supers or power up, but most power ups aren't really beneficial to you. Like, you got this one, which you can see uh, from the herb box and hit boxes that the blue one on the left is the one that gets hit. So you can actually, let's see, you can actually change which one you are. It depends on the button you press when you do it, right? Yeah, it depends on the button you press. Let's see. There's also a way to switch characters on the fly, but I kind of don't remember how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually more irritating for you than, than the other. Oh, that's a hitbox! Yeah, it's a little mini hitbox. That's cool. I've never actually seen the hitbox data for this one. Right, yeah. cool. Uh, I think I'm back up and running. So, uh, awesome. just, just to brief briefly go over that again so to tech throws the input is uh down any direction between forwards down and back and two punches while you're being thrown that's the motion that you need in order to tech throws so that will cost a bit of orange bar if you don't have up to orange bar you cannot tech throws and then uh there are i believe three types of throw techs in this game so these two characters here have two different types. If Cyclops escapes his throw on the first tech, it's a throw escape. He won't take any damage. But if he does it late, he'll soften the throw. So why don't we uh, demonstrate that really quick? Fill the meter a little bit. Yeah, I, I was trying to get meter before, so hold on. Well, you're better off just hitting her at this point to get can, some meter. The show you can does a lot of meter gain. Yeah, hey. Awesome. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm going to throw you. So that is your second tech, or your throw softening. So you will still take damage from the initial throw, but you won't take damage from the landing. Because in Coda, you take damage from the throw initializing, and you take um, damage from landing on the floor as well. So, uh, Marty, I want to give you, I want you to give Jay a heads up before you throw him, so he can land the the first tech. So just jump before you oh, throw. Okay. okay. And that's the first tech. He will escape 
without taking any damage at all. Um, so Jay, if you can jump before you throw, um, throw, and we'll show what a counter throw is. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. It's no, cool. no problem. Nobody's perfect. That is a counter throw. So, when Psylocke escapes the throw, she will do a throw of her own in reverse, and Cyclops will take damage instead. So, Psylocke can take, can capitalize that in the corner. Other characters can capitalize that from different portions of the screen. Uh, predominantly, you're going to see the top counter throwers are Colossus, who does massive damage out of counter throws, and Iceman, who gets an unteckable counter throw. Unless you have throw escape. So you can't soft land it. This is what makes Iceman so strong. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so let's let's get some knockdowns and uh, this is something very important to this game. And that's teching while you're on the ground. So when you're on the ground you can either lie flat, so let's get a knockdown, just demonstrate that. When you lie flat, you're extremely vulnerable to attack on the ground, and characters can OTG you for follow-up combos. Yeah, you can even do that. Yeah. So, so certain characters have different OTG times, also. Right. Everybody has pretty much a different OTG time. OTG standing for on the ground. Now, uh, let's get a knockdown and let's show teching. So he's teching that in forwards and backwards directions. The input for that is as simple as mashing punches while holding forward <laughs> or back. It's really not a complicated technique to do. And I, it's I extremely useful. Three, yeah. Just to make sure. <laughs> you don't want to mash too hard um, because you may, you know... Uh, do a dash right out of your uh, tech and leave yourself open but you also don't want to stay on the ground and leave yourself vulnerable too so this is something that's a little tricky to learn but it's super crucial to playing the game along with throw teching so if you take away anything from what we're doing today throw teching is very important to this game because you don't want to take follow-up damage from throws and when you land on the ground you don't want to give your opponent the opportunity to keep attacking you so you want to tech roll while you land on the floor as well Okay, um, did we go over super jump canceling? We did not. Okay, cool. I'm going to switch over to me real quick. Oh, you, go guys, for it. you guys take a little break. Okay. And we're back to my screen. So, in this game, your normals have recovery time. That's normal for any game. But what's special to this game is you can super jump cancel out of your normal recovery time. You can, even super, you can even super jump cancel out of the startup of a move. So for example, I'm going to show Colossus's heavy punch here. It has a very noticeable startup. You see him charging his arms back and then lashing forward. I'm going to super jump out of the startup of that move. So what this can do is if you throw a move out and you know your opponent is going to capitalize on either your whiff or is going to recover and do an attack before you land yours out, you can quickly cancel it and super jump. Another benefit of super jump canceling your moves after they hit is follow-ups. So normally when you launch somebody, they'll go in the air and be vulnerable. If I want to follow up with Colossus, I have to super jump cancel this hit after I connect. So that's a lot of where Colossus's damage comes from. I'll just demonstrate a quick combo using canceling. So yeah. Super jump canceling is extremely important in this game. And it's also good if you want to fake somebody out. Let's say I'm coming in, I'm dashing. And I want to pretend like I'm doing a move, but not leave myself vulnerable. Or if I want to come in, poke, put a hitbox out, and then retreat really quick. So 
I'm not the most technical player in this game. I'll just go out and admit that right now. But it is of great use to good players like um, Marty and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, good players. Yes. Uh, you're good too. Okay, cool. Um, if you guys can go to back F F three, you guys, and switch to auto guard. Let's show the uh, the guys here about uh, uh, yes. auto guarding. Auto guard mechanic, something polarizing. If we're going too fast and you guys need some re reiteration, feel free Hold to on. ask questions give, give after this. Okay. Uh, let me just pick a character. Okay, I'm going to switch over to you guys now. Boom. Alright. So, I'm going to be explaining Auto Guard. This is an option when you select your character. You'll have the options between auto and manual. So, Marty, don't block. As you can see, it's, uh, let me turn the hitboxes off so you can see it better. I got it. Oh, you do it, you do it. Turn, change hitbox settings to off. So we can get a better view. The last one, the last option. Boom. Coin. Close the menu. Yeah. Okay, so, as you can see here, I'm hitting him. And he gets this little diamond around his body to indicate that auto block is in action. This also results in normal moves doing chip damage. Which means that even if you blocked the normal attack, like your punches and or your kicks, it's still doing damage to Omega Red, which isn't present in the normal game. Uh, it makes it so that even special moves, bam, like that, are are going to be blocked for you they do chip normally as well one thing that auto does not save you from is uh pressing buttons so if you're actually in the middle of doing an attack auto guard will not block for you auto guard only activates is if you get hit while not blocking the correct orientation and that's when you will take the you can actually walk chip. forward like hold forward and it'll block automatically for you right as long as you're not pressing a button. Uh, now, one thing that Auto Guard does not protect you from is super. So, hold on. In the face. So you, will, you will still have to block supers normally. Um, let's check if it blocks cross ups. So. Wow. Wow, that is nuts. I actually learned that myself. <laughs> so, if you're scared of left and right uh, mix ups, uh, now, I strongly advise against using auto guard, only because it is more of a hindrance. It actually might make matches more difficult to use due to the fact of the normals having that chipping property. Because uh, also, uh, if I may, yeah. auto mod changes some moves to to quite a bit to the point where like some movement based like storms, lightning attack. When you use it on auto mode, it only travels in a straight direction. Yeah, so you can't right. really go other direction. And something like Wolverine's um, Tornado Claw example, you can't do multiple hits in auto mode where comparing to manual mode. And a lot of other moves just changes in general. Change for the worst, if anything. Yeah, definitely for the worst. Um, so with Omega Red, it's he has really the option odd. to uh, coil you and drain your energy, your life energy or your uh, super meter energy. But in auto mode, he can't do it at all, and he automatically throws you. So I'm not pressing yeah. anything; <laughs> it's automatic throw. So if there ever so, was a case against auto mode, this is it. Don't pick auto mode. And then yeah. another thing about auto mode is if you win a match, like a yeah a match with auto mode, it automatically disables next round, like next match. So you will be in a handicap. Do you, um you still get the the chip? You all know if it's disabled. Yeah, it's, it's uh, just off. I don't know. So, I actually wouldn't know. But um, a lot of things. But like it it, it definitely disables if you win a match. Right, no more auto guard. So if you win one, it's gone for the next match. Training wheels are off. 
Um, so don't don't hinder yourself. Don't screw yourself over. Don't pick auto mode unless you're just fooling around. It's really not a help to you if you seriously want to learn how to play this game. Or if you just want to learn how to think casually for fun, auto guard will not help you. Don't pick it. That was nice. <laughs> okay. okay. So what else do we got? So let's see. We've gone through movement, building meter, throws, throw teching, ground teching, super jump canceling. Oh, uh, air dashing. I've gone through air dashing. Yes. Uh, cool. We've explained how auto guard is trash. Don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'd like to just open it up and see if anybody ha anybody has any questions or would like us to, to re-explain oh, any of the mechanics. So uh, let's start with if you guys want to know a specific mechanic or explain it again. Just uh, let me know right now. What's up, guys? Anyone have any questions? This is your time to speak now. Don't be shy. If y'all muted. I'm gonna take it as a no. Nobody has any questions. Alright, cool. It sounds like a no to me. Do you guys caught on really fast or you're just shy? So. <laughs> uh, and I have a. I actually have a thing. Yeah. Sorry, before, before that, Radica in the chat was talking about Cyclops's I beat. This is a PSA. Okay. Um, <laughs> he was talking about his eye beams and to explain what the issue with this move is. <laughs> so I guess so, we're getting into character specifics now. What's up with the eye beam? So I don't know if you can see. Well, due to auto mode, depending, it doesn't matter what strength I press, but it's the same one. But I can get hit. <laughs> Uh, a long time after I finished doing the attack. Um, yeah, um, one thing I'm slightly curious is that is Optic Blast um, punishable on close up? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Uh, Let's see if I okay. can do it again. Do it again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, to that's also. I to do when I get hit. Do that's also an issue. No, I, I think he pushes them too far. That might. Not be punishable on hit. I don't think the move is that bad. But... Oh, on hit? I no, think. On hit. I think um, super heavy characters might be able to punish, consider that take less hit stun in general. Uh, they probably don't have a move that reaches that far. Yeah. Um, because Santa I might. think Shit. Like Colossus, yeah, like Colossus, no, Colossus. might be possible. Well, this is what we're here for. Why don't we F3 and we'll test it out? Sure. No, no auto. I guess Sentinel or Colossus? Uh, Sentinel. No, Let's limbs. do Sentinel. Sentinel. He's got good limbs. Yeah, he's a big limbs character. Try to like take a hit on purpose up close and then maybe try oh, to do like um. Bro. Hold on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna optic blast and I'm gonna block. Right. That that looks like that. <laughs> uh, try around house. Go that move covers a lot of. Wow. Yeah. I'm, as you can see in my inputs, I'm holding down back. Uh, let's see it on hit. Get get hit with it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use oh. optic blast. It's no, punishable man. on hit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that confirms. Don't use optic blast. <laughs> Okay, okay. I think so, I think far off should be okay. Very far, uh, very far. Yeah, in the air, far off maybe, but uh, you should do it in the air and see if I can block it and punish. You can, I, it looks like you could dash MK if I'm like in the air. No, like on the ground when you're when like yeah, you could definitely launch him. So this is oh. this is. <laughs> this has been your PSA. Also, look, one thing to note, uh, just take note of how long he goes into his blocking animation after I do it. So look. Bam, now he's blocking. So you have like a good recovery time of him to like stop using the beam to block. So don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Use heavy punch. Heavy punch is a, a good button. Right, and you can super jump cancel it so that way you're safe and you can set up mix-up <laughs> options. 
want to see any of you doing off the glass because I'm out. So sack off so <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Only use it if it's gonna kill on chip. If you hit it. Or like not, a full screen punish. Yeah. If like you see how he's doing that Adam storm. You might as well shoot him or get Adam stormed. So like, yeah, sight, optic true. blast is not like the worst move, but it's very close to the worst move. It's pretty bad, but like I said, it has has very small situation situational uses. And tiger kneeing it while keeping you a little bit safer is not really. It's not a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea. It's a bad move. It's use, a bad move. Use the super. Super. Uh, if any pal modder tells you otherwise, don't listen to them. <laughs> um, what's uh, it called? I think old school had a question, right? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. I think I have like uh, two questions, uh, but I'm gonna ask. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, I have a question about uh, not spiral, uh, but her stage because uh, because I keep hearing, uh, yeah, you know, I keep hearing uh, that uh, you know her stage is like uh, it's the stage that everybody hates it. Oh, and that's, probably, yeah. that's a good question. That's a good yeah, question. Say that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pick Spiral. Just to I, can we both pick Spiral then? Right? Yeah, and then sure. get the stage. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, uh, okay, uh, okay, I can uh, I can see the reason why. Uh, once your opponent uh, gets done, the, it's, uh, you know, it, it suddenly breaks the glass. Uh, you know, all your combos are gone. Uh, you know, it will steal your victories. This and that, yeah. <laughs> it, it will steal your victories. Yeah. Right, it'll steal your victories, yeah. it'll steal your wife, it'll it'll do everything. It's a bad <laughs> certain, certain characters after the floor break can can yeah. stay on the air very long if they choose to. Yeah. Storm being Storm uh, but I think only Storm being the one who can stay on the top indefinitely yeah, just... thanks to lightning attack. Yeah, she could do but... that heavy punch. Also, yeah. the, um, if you get hit into uh, the, the glass while you're stunned, it'll reset the stun and you won't be stunned anymore. So right when you know, you're know you about to get stunned, if the floor breaks, your stun will go away. I'm staying for Colossus stage mutant hunting, but that stage only breaks one time, so yeah. nothing too much to more, worry about. It's a little bit more bearable than this stage. This right, yeah. Ball. So uh, takes two, right? To break the floor? Yeah, each floor takes two two um two hits and then it's it's down. So anytime you smash against that floor twice, it's breaking. You know what's crazy? There's certain special moves too that can hit the floor and cause that floor break on purpose. Like uh what is it, Cyclops Optic Blast Super? If you aim it at the floor it'll break the floor. Iceman Snowball will also break the floor as well. Yeah. Uh, why don't we show that off? I think that's a pretty cool, pretty interesting thing yeah. to show. Uh, what are we going to show? Uh, we're showing special manual? moves that, that break that stage. Uh, okay. You, know, you got a character select, right? Oh wait, let me go first then, yeah. Do the challenger, because I know you're better at the character select mode. Who should I do? Uh, Ice Man, right? Ice Man has the Ice Ball? Yeah, Ice Man's Does it actually ball. break it? I yeah, it does, it does. Uh, It'll add, uh, dents on the floor. So. Oh wait, don't we need a... Damn, who oh, was holding man. a button? Now it's oh, You can safe stay, right? You can use the safe stay, it won't break it. You're right. Okay. Sick, dogs. There we go. Oh, I have to do it. Okay. Oh, but I'm not gonna be able to do it in this. Why not? Because it's delayed. Oh wow. Well. I could've did it. I think both players can do it when you start. Really? Alright, so in, in any case, um, Jay, you started up, so that way Marty, it's Marty's stage. Is, is that how that works, first player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least try it, I guess. Try it, see yeah. if it does anything. Bear with us, folks. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> let, me, let me press start down when you reset. Well, in any case, uh, one of you guys can pick Spiral, so. That's true. And then you have to get meter. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're learning too. Spiral have, have to be first player? Spiral should be uh, second pick then. Right? That's how that works. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna do it to where we both press start at the same time, okay? On the... <laughs> we're losing viewers! <laughs> we're underwater right now. Oh, it, it was going to Mojo World, by the way. Who pressed, it'll, who pressed it, it'll show you the first stage. <laughs> It'll show you the first stage. Yeah, yeah the, fir the first stage it shows you is the one it's gonna go to when you let it go through. Just save state all right here. Oh, you're right. Okay, we're good. We're, you're going to ice on the beach. Hey, Mojo there World. Go. I got it. All right, Finally. so throw your little bolitas at the ground. One more. Oh my goodness, yeah. See? Damn, yeah, that's so. There are and then moves. you can just stay up there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a that's a thing you can do. That can break Literally. this cursed stage. And I don't think I can even reach you, unless I teleport. <laughs> you can even Just... stand there with... Yeah. Oh my goodness. So if you're Iceman and you hate this stage, you know what to do. Throw the bolitas. Or get, get them out of the way early, so when you get the stun, you kill them. Because what, there's three floors or two? Three. There's three. Yeah, so if you hate all the orbs... All the orbs on the floor. I believe a rocket punch that hits the ground too will break it. Yeah, anything. Yeah, maybe Colossus Super as well. Right? Yeah, pretty much. If if you do it on a stage and you put a dent in the ground, you're breaking the floor. Strange button. This is also a strange button. Anybody else have any questions? I believe Abdul, you had two questions. One being the spiral stage. Two being what else? Oh no no, that was me actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let me think the other one. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, so, are Colossus and uh, yeah, Colossus and Sentinel the the only heavy characters in this game? Super. Or, or there's like one more. Super heavy. They're yeah, the super heavy. Super heavy. Super but... heavy. All right. Both yeah. of them, even when they are super heavy, they have their slight own different weight. Yeah. yeah. Did we explain weight? No, we didn't uh, explain yeah, weight. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, should, and yeah. Okay. And yeah, here's here. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, here, here's something I've noticed. That okay, depend. Okay, depending on the characters, uh, uh, you know, depending on uh, you know, uh, depending on the characters, uh, I fight. Heavy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, each each one right. of them. Huh? You're gonna pick I'm sorry. Man. Hold on, they're just uh, they're um, it. Go ahead, go ahead, ask. Uh, 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 all right, all right. Uh, uh, all right, here's the thing. Okay, when your opponent, uh, for example, like a super, you know, like super heavy, such as Sentinel, and you do like, you want to do a like, combos about it? Okay, uh, uh, okay, the combos uh, might or might, uh, you know, or may not work. But if you choose like an opponent as in, as in, like a, a light, you know, like a, a light character, uh, the combo suddenly, you know, becomes easier. So, so I've noticed this game is like uh, depending on the character, you know, depending on the character opponents. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, so I'll I'll, yeah. expl I'll explain that real quick, just and then we'll we'll go into some character weights. Um. So what you're saying is right. is Goodbye. partially right. Uh, I will say that it does get e um harder to do combos on heavier characters depending on who you're using. Some characters have an easy time of doing it. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. And for lighter characters, also depending on who you're using, uh, you might hit them harder and they might pop farther away from you and not allow you to do follow-ups. So characters that are in the middle, like Cyclops, are characters that yeah. are basically combo consistent, I like to call them. I feel like he gets comboed pretty, pretty simply, pretty easily. Anything that works can work on Cyclops for the most part. It's when you start to get into the lighter or heavier category that you need to actually change your combos, which is actually one of the reasons that I really like this game. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with, let's say, Guilty Gear or other anime fighters, right? So every yeah. character has their own gravity rating, which means they fall at different speeds and different rates. Uh, it's a similar thing right. in Coda, except uh, it doesn't involve the speed of how you fall. It's the height of, and how much you get either popped up from launchers and throws so for characters like sentinel and colossus they will pop up yeah. lower from attacks that launch and toss them in the air so they're just going th <laughs> these guys are going berserk but uh if you can demonstrate really quick um 
your launchers and see how difficult it is to pop Mr. Colossus up. Sure. So cool. that is the highest it can go. Which, if it, if I'm hitting like Cyclops or say Spiral, the the lighter It'll character, go like up will, here, right? yeah, they will fling in the air. And with a combo uh, for Omega Red is usually medium punch into super jump, and you just keep doing that. But with Colossus, it's a little different because he's so heavy, and you have to kind of um, like fine tune your combos to how he his weight will react to it. So it's usually. Like, you just make it to where the combo will work. So, uh, I would love for you to show the normal combo that you would do, let's say, like, on Cyclops, and let's show how it fails on Colossus. So, it's the... I'll just tell you how to do it. It's standing medium punch and the super jump and six punches. So, on Colossus, it'll go... And it starts whiffing. Like, let's see. Let's see? Like, it's very inconsistent as to, like, his weight. Cool. Yeah. Uh, but let's... you can also show. I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt. Sorry. Uh, let's have three and show that on Cyclops when you are ready to. I got you. Yeah. With any other character, it becomes super easy. Yeah. My news will tell you. <laughs> My win record will tell you. My loss record. <laughs> normal combo. You can usually pull up on mostly any character that's not super heavy. And it becomes extremely easy to do. Sorry for my inputs. So because Colossus is a super heavyweight, when he gets hit by that light punch, he's not getting knocked back or up as far as Cyclops is. And it's not allowing Omega Red to combo him fully for this easy infinite. Easy as pie. So another thing about Coda is there is a bunch of combo potential, so you can switch it up as to what you want to do. So usually, the easy mode combo is that, right? But style on if you would want to. It, let's see if we can even get it on cam. Like oh, that. you're gonna do the yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you can even do like Colossus specific stuff on uh, Cyclops, but you again have to fine tune it to the character weight classes rather than like every character can get hit like that. So and that's I what... Would, mm -hmm. I would assume the same as the... It's the same for Cyclops. Like, Cyclops can... Yeah. Really do some... You want me to switch to Colossus well, for Well, first... Before... Yeah, before you switch to Colossus, though, we're going to show a comparison of, like... Go for it. So he has a couple of launchers. He has this button, which is a touch medium. Uh, and his stand medium. So this is going to be the drastic change between the weight classes that you'll see. Look at how high... Um, Omega Red will launch to where you can't hit him. Or well, if you do a jab, it will it will whip, right? Because he's really high in the air. But on a heavy, so when we go to a heavy character, you'll see how short their their launch is. Where you can do you can do some pretty wacky stuff. So. Why are you guys picking on Colossus? Well, he's a heavy man. Yeah, go to that corner. <laughs> you want to turn that hitbox back on, too? Yeah. Just so we have it off for a little bit. It's good to show off our new and improved hitbox. All thanks to Peon, by the way. Shoutouts to Peon. Big shoutouts. So, look at that nothing. Like, he, he barely leaves the ground. But, the cool part is that because he barely leaves the ground, you can do, like, I call them super heavy only combos. So you can do. Oh, can I do it? <laughs> can I do it here? So stuff like this. Let me get that. Stuff. You want? You want me to do it? I can do it. Yeah, I think <laughs> you probably do it. The part sec. Yeah, the part sec. So basically, the gist of it is you would do multiple medium kicks in a row. So let's let have you do it. So you can show it off. Okay. Sorry guys, uh, we're working with Parsec. Parsec is great, but it's not perfect. So I'll pick Colossus and then we'll have, uh, have this, this show it all, the style on him. Make sure you hold forward, like down forward when you do the, the medium kick. You gotta do crouch medium punch. Crouch not medium punch? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then walk under and then, yeah, 
You gotta walk forward slightly every time you do it. Psychops players, take note. Yeah, this is uh, very messed up. <laughs> it's that parsec, right? So yeah, look at that. That is uh It looks kinda difficult, it's really not. You just have it's to really make sure difficult. you're holding forward so you can get it. But this is something that only works on super heavies because of their their fast falling. That's pretty sad. Launch. It's very <laughs> sad. Uh it's a big style lawning combo that you can do if you wanna just like flex a little. Be mean. So yeah, on other uh, characters that'll pop them all the way up, right? Yeah, they won't even the they'll jump the combo. They can block like after the first launcher. Hmm. Like you could do uh, what's it called? Crouch medium kick into crouch medium punch because of the gravity. So I think I think it's fair to say we've been picking on super Ooh. heavies. Uh, let's let's show to what this light? does to some light characters. So uh, yeah. I'd say let's go with uh, Psylocke. She's pretty light. You wanna, you want me to do seven? Uh, you can if you want. Or I, I, I can't do combos. Ah, I got it. See, that's the problem. So this is what we're talking about. Uh, if you are gonna play, make sure you do have combos for the three categories of weight classes: uh, lights, mediums, and heavies. Because uh, you will come to a, into like a matchup where you're like, oh man, I launched this person, but look how high they go. My combo doesn't work. But you know, there's stuff that you can do here that is universal, depending on your character. Uh, it's kind of, it's a little choppy, but you, because of how high, like characters fly in the air, you may have to delay your move so that you can give them time to float downward. Uh, so like this combo that Cyclops can do, you have to wait quite a while before you do the heavy kick. Instead of doing it instantly, the heavier the character is. And just to make note, uh, we'll explain the light classes. So, your lightweights in this game, or, or pixie weight, whichever you'd like to call it, or featherweight. Let, let's let's uh, let's, featherweight. let's go with featherweights. Your featherweights are storm, spiral, if I'm not mistaken, and then it goes on to Psylocke, who's light. Middleweight being Colossus. Let me just pull up the wiki so I'm not giving out uh, fake news. Sounds like you see middleweight Colossus. He's a super heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to add, but Wolverine and Akuma are considered how to say light. slightly light. Yeah, they're slightly but light. not exactly light. They're not feather. And yeah. they're not medium either. But they are not uh, medium. Yeah, Psylocke should be lightweight. It's weird that you say that, Big Nasty, because uh, Psylocke, on the wiki at least, is listed as a featherweight. But the the thing about Coda is that while these characters are in different weight classes, they vary even more between character and character, even if they are of the same weight class. Which is kind of strange, but, you know, that's how this game is. Alright, so... Uh, the feather classes, and I'll just go by the wiki's info, but understand that even though these characters are in the same weight class, they do have different weight. So feather will be Storm, Spiral, and Psylocke. Light will be Akuma and Wolverine. Middleweight, Iceman, Cyclops. Heavyweight, Omega Red and Silver Samurai. And then Super Heavyweight, Colossus and Sentinel. And if you're playing arcade mode, um, Juggernaut will be in Super Heavy. And I do I believe like Magneto it. falls into light. I'm I mean, not really light, curious uh, heavy. how Juggernaut's combo will be considered. He's the heaviest out of everyone. Um, yeah. I wouldn't even know how Jaguar? to combo him Jaguar into note? an air combo. Yeah, because I know I feel like Omega Red doesn't have an air combo for Juggernaut. Or does he even stay in the air like that? Because I know that if you try to do a uh, launcher on him, sometimes he doesn't even lift off the ground. He'll just eat the, the hit and take the damage. I know for a fact because hitboxes are so big and juicy, I can get a pretty decent uh, infinite on him with Psylocke. I mean with Psylocke, with Storm. 
So, I mean, he is comboable and he does launch, but, I mean. It's, it's annoying. You're better off throwing very, him. Yeah, yeah just, very shoddy. Oh, did we talk about throws in Super Heavy characters? No, I'll, I'll just explain that real quick right now. So, uh, Super Heavyweight characters take more damage from throws. So, toss them, chuck them. Throw them around. As often as you can. Except right. if they're a counter thrower, which they are. Both of them are. Uh, <laughs> Every single yeah. uh, super heavyweight that isn't Juggernaut is a counter thrower. Yeah, so if they if they have meter, is what I would rather say. Uh, if they have meter, be careful. Because they will counter throw you, and most likely they can do a lot of damage off of, your, off of their throw. So you be careful. Take, take note of their meter game. If they don't have meter, they'll chuck them. Chuck them. And uh, just just to reiterate on, or rather add on to that point, the damage that super heavyweights take from throws is when they land. Yeah, they have to hit the floor. So if you hit them before they hit the floor, no dice for you. Yeah, you'll lose all that bonus damage you'll be doing to them. Does anybody else have any questions for us? I'm hearing a lot of nothing. It's all good. We got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, th uh, thank you, guys. No, of no problem. No problem. Thank Happy to help. For thank you for asking. Uh, I tell you what. Anytime. Do you guys want to get into some into some player matches and we'll stream them so that way we can we can see some of the new players play? Sure. 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 Cool. Uh, let's see. Who do we got here in the chat right now? Uh, I'm new. I volunteer. Well, well, I uh, well, I I don't consider myself a beginner, and I'm also a, a Wolverine main. But uh, I volunteer. Marty, your Discord is in the. Oh yeah, sorry. The parsec in the thing. Okay, so uh, Soul Force, did you just did you just offer your offer yourself to us? Your soul. <laughs> yep. All right. Excellent. I absolutely did. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's get a game between you, and uh, yeah, let's let's see you in old school gamer play. All right, All right. So... the connection looks really terrible, but we'll try. Yeah, give it a shot. Uh, yeah, let's hope so. FYI. I, I also play Silver Samurai, so this is going to be odd. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Samurai's great. <laughs> no, I love That's why I chose him. I like him. Listen. Oh, oh no. Oh, yep. My match of melee rep? Yeah, match of melee's tight, too. Match. Play match melee. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Y'all are oh. rowdy. No slander, no slander. Alright, cool. Let me switch to that. And, uh, yeah. We'll see a match between you, you beautiful Whoop. newbies. Old school. Wow. Oh. I mean, it's pressure incarnate right now. Do you Oops. say, uh, let them know that Wolverine is considered extremely broken? <laughs> 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 well, okay, let's let's not go into... I, I would say it's more important to state why Wolverine is such a strong force in this Strong game. character. Like, absurd. This feels very underwater. Sorry about that. I mean, it's... Ah! Uh, Wolverine is very strong because of his confirm from anywhere on the screen and his pressure to just stay in the air and press uh, his large normals to keep you out. Yeah, he's got it all, as Big Nasty says. He definitely has the best of all worlds, you know. He's yeah. light, so it's hard to combo him. He has a DP, uh, a super that you can reversal from his guard. Oh, we didn't, did we explain guard canceling? I think he... Oh, oh no. yeah. Uh, we'll That's go into guard canceling after this match. That's true, yeah. After the next match. I'm... Let's do... You want to do one don't more? Don't know what's happening, because I can't really react to anything. Oh, uh, that's gotcha, unfortunate. Gotcha. Was, so that's... was it lagging on your side? So that's one of the things it's, about... it's... It feels like I'm underwater. This latency is kind of... Well, we can, uh, we can change it up. Yeah, we could, we could always switch out who's playing, so... uh. Let's let's do one more for the for the for the sake of the old college try, and then we'll uh, we'll get a new match going on, and then we'll explain some I guard canceling. I know Majin is here, right? Majin, do you mind playing? Yeah, I, yeah, I could play. Okay, cool. Huh. So, so force, you could try Majin because he's. Yeah, I'm 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 in the U.S. 
Yeah, he's here in, in the state. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, I wouldn't consider myself a beginner either, but I'm not, like, <laughs> I tried. good. <laughs> I tried to get oh, the, the fuck It's a learning experience, so having people play each other is good. No, I mean, no, I tried to get the buff blade going, but he woke up. Damn, Wolverine activated Ganagin. Wolverine has Ganagin. <laughs> <laughs> but so does Silver Samurai. It's true. The good thing about Silver Samurai is it's super, it super does dummy damage. But, a uh, drawback to Silver Samurai super is that when he's in the activation of it, it automatically starts draining the meter. So if he gets knocked out of it, he can't do a super instantly after it. Oh. Oh, There's the... That's a little character knowledge for y'all. Curse that Wolverine, curse him. <laughs> there we go, that's the guard cancel. <laughs> look no, look cancel. Alright, cool. Thanks for playing. Uh, good, guys. Game. good game. Good game. Alright, cool. Yeah. I'm going to transition so, over back to you guys. On, on... Which person is Majin on here? Uh, that, That's me. I'll, I'll invite you. It's okay. Alright. Huh? Stedman. I'm Stedman's going to say that. <laughs> so, are we going to do uh, the guard canceling? Oh uh, no, let's let's so, watch, uh, okay. Let's play. Let's play. Soul Force it. instead, play a few rounds, we'll get guard canceling queued up for you guys. And then we'll yeah, uh, yeah. explain some more things after the match. Marty, let me join your party. Oh, it's not joined yet? I left, yeah. I left to go change my screen. Except me. Thank you. Yep, okay. okay. Another thing about the Wolverine guy, that crazy little guy, is uh, a, <laughs> lot of, a lot of his moves are safe. He's just... A monster. Capcom, why you do this? He's busted. <laughs> uh, Dan, make sure the, the view is on the... It's on you guys right now. I'm just waiting for the match to actually start before I uh, queue it up. Gotcha. Have you guys started playing yet? Yeah, we're playing. Alright, cool. I'm going to connect to you guys, and then we'll, we'll watch it. How do, how do you do that again, Mario? The instant down? Is that medium? Or down like... Yeah, down, down medium kick. Yeah, that's dumb. So strong. Uh, don't do this, by the way. Just kidding. Uh, this is very good. Big nasty knows what's up. <laughs> Big nasty, <laughs> nasty knows. We've all been mixed at some point by this. All right, transitioning to the match. We got some Silver Samurai and Spiralina action. Oh yeah, baby. We got the Jojo's world floor. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's the stage I was talking about. <laughs> oh, we're on the cursed yeah. Mojo world. Uh oh. See? <laughs> you see that? Yeah, Mojo's first stage. Yep. Don't worry, in uh, <laughs> Uncanny X Men: Children of the Atom, the stage is getting deleted. Uncanny X Men. Okay, got it. Good job. <laughs> Uh, that was a shout out to Radica. He came up with that name. I cannot take any credit for that. Uh, we're not gonna credit him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start with Ned. Oh, yeah. That's why we wanted you to be here, Ned. So that, uh, you can find that sweet spiral set. I'm pretending I'm playing Sam Show 7 with Darley's jumping D. Or C. <laughs> I mean, how I right though? I think that's an accurate way to describe Silver Samurai's playstyle. It's very methodical and if you don't have good fundamentals, and run. no point in picking them. I think it's also important to note that a lot of Silver Samurai players Oh, um, oh! That move. Oh, uh, that and um, using your normals into your shurikens to gain meter so that you have meter for the super that will be Amazing damage. Dummy damage. Dummy damage. I already put it. I mean, dummy amounts of damage. Silver Samurai taking the chip, taking the W. That one's for the folks at home. I know people love them some Soul Sam. We're honorable out here. <laughs> we fight with honor and honesty. Yeah, Oh! Wow, did you see that that combo? <laughs> yeah, that's really good. That was 
<laughs> Look at the hitbox. <laughs> the hitbox on it is so nutty. It just, it just goes everywhere. Hold on, wait. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, time over. <laughs> I, I had more health. I wasn't even paying attention. It'd be like that on photo sometimes. Honestly, the only time I see time over is when I'm fighting uh, Mr. Abdul himself. The yeah. king. <laughs> the king of uh, of that runaway play. Yeah, I was contemplating banning you from the server because you kept running away. <laughs> oh, oh, come <laughs> on. <man. laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. You're a pretty cool guy. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, people fighting is like banging two rocks together in a fire. <laughs> 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 Come on, Wolverine Wednesdays, new tournament, let's go. All his buttons are just so active. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, hit him with everyone. So that's a good thing to point out. What a cool super. My old super is she goes into Whoops. the state where the next, what is it, punch attack? Yes. Back to the grab. And then she'll grab you, and she can grab you in the air too. And do her super where she transforms into every character and she starts to wall them. Uh, some fun thing to know about during when she's in her super grab mode, you're, I think you are also speeded up slightly, but not as fast as when you go for the real speed up. Oh yeah, she has her, her speed up mode. She gets ridiculous. Ooh. Playing bullet hell with the honorable samurai. I, I much. I am actually having to chase her down super hard. <laughs> That's kind of like the the gameplay she wants. She wants you to chase after her and uh, let her capitalize yeah. on your mistakes with her swords. I am. I'm glad I do. Extremely strong one hit damage because it's all I'm getting. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it be like that though. You want to land those hits when you can, and then when you have meter, hit him with that. Uh, that thunder super. Damn. I'll tell you what. I combos... forgot I can cancel all this from. Oh, that chip was just disgusting! God, <laughs> ate that whole bar. Alright, let's see one more match and then we'll uh, explain some guard cancelling for y'all. Okie dokie. Oh shit, switching to the robot. The trash can. Oh! Yeah, you better get hit with the frying pan on your nose. Oops, I'm trying to super jump. And I'm not guarding in the air. Whoops. That was a nice little three hit combo you did. Happy little three hit. Oh my Damn. god, the remake oh. had just That's claimed his thing. soul. <laughs> Rough, dude. That's rough, buddy. You guys have a safe state for that, uh. Whoops! Wrong one! For all that meter you got? Yes. Cool. I do. Awesome. Damn, Sentinel did dummy damage. <laughs> I am forgetting to cast into his fireball, but good games. Good games. All right, we're so little, we're sorry, those delayed. were my first games on. My bad. I, I would have done a little I mean, bit. No, me, it's okay. Me too. My bad. <laughs> it's awesome. I think. I think. Oh it's yeah, just good games. Fun that was fun. Oh, we didn't talk about Genosha. Oh, we, we can talk about Genosha after we explain uh, the guard cancel. Yeah. Well, my, Wait, doesn't yeah. Genosha have bro breakable stuff? Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna go we'll into it. it. Cursed stage number two, Genosha, which will also be deleted. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for playing. That was that was pretty sick. Uh we're gonna talk about guard Thank canceling you. right now. Uh so if you don't know about it, pay attention because we're we're going through it on the stream. Alright guys, you're up. Alright, you're gonna block and then I'm gonna do a move and you're gonna guard cancel to the super, okay? 
But show show them you doing HP, so we we'll see how it looks. So that's oh, that's me. Oh, man. So that's me <laughs> Jesus Christ, it. that that's hitbox. Me blocking it. But if I uh, input the super while he's still in the guard cancel or in the guard, he'll cancel it. So what you're doing is shortening your guard and using the opponent's recovery against them by canceling it into a super attack. But uh, I think who is Wolverine the only character that has it instant? Or... No, Colossus. Colossus also has it instant. But some other characters do not have it instantly, so they kind of have a startup on their super. So if you are able to guard cancel it, uh, it will take a few seconds to go, and your opponent can kind of punish you while you're doing that. So you have to be kind of careful with, uh, let's say, like mashing your super while you're in guard. Uh, you should probably never do that. Yeah, only certain, I think those two characters can take full advantage of the guard cancel mechanic due to the long nature of startups. Of like the supers, because maybe Silver Sam with his yeah. Remaken? I would recommend Remaken for guard canceling as well, but you have to sort of know when your opponent is going to do a move that will give you enough time and space to hit Remaken. Uh, I will say that if in instances where like, um, what's the name of this guy? Sentinel's doing a full screen rocket punch. And you're using a character with a quicker projectile assist, um, assist, listen to me, a quicker projectile super, like Mr. Cycle. You can punish a full screen rocket punch attempt with an optic blast super. Done it. Uh, let me, can I address something in the chat really quick? Yeah, go right ahead. Uh, so Big Nasty was asking, what is the startup of, uh, what's it called, Wolverine Super? Oh and boy. I checked, I checked, I checked, and it's three frames. Three frames? Yeah. Fast, as fast as a normal? Or no, faster. No, it's I not think. faster because his hard kick is two frames. If standing Okay, kick. so yeah. But that's still, like, for reference, do hard kick? Hard kick? Yeah. So, it is, a, like, one frame slower than that. And uh, that means that. This move? Also, wait. Another thing about the guard cancel is it, isn't he invincible on the startup? Of yeah, Wolverine guy? is invincible on the startup of that super. So not yeah. only is it is it fast, it's invincible, and its hitbox goes well behind him. So if you try to jump over it, you will get slapped. I don't know if you guys can see that. It might be a little too quick. Yeah. But there That's is a frame where you can see it goes well behind Wolverine's head. Right there. Yeah. So even if you try to punish it, like you're going to get like you're gonna get mopped on, and it's not, it's, uh, not it's not really wise right. to try and contest that move. You just gotta kinda either get out of the way avoid or... Avoid it, yeah, avoid it. <laughs> yeah, so if Wolverine has a full meter and he's going into a full defensive stance, I mean, it's rife with opportunity for him to just punish you with that move. He's uh, waiting for you. But in the that... other guy who can punish just as fast is Akuma's, uh, Misats Go Shoryu. Also, just as fast as Busk. Berserk Barrage. Ah, look at that. I don't use Akuma, so I didn't know that. So I appreciate that insight. Thank you very much. I would love to try to use Akuma, but I'm not about to do his code. <laughs> well, we're working on getting boss character um, and secret characters uh, ready. Uh, there's so. probably someone working on it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying our best to get that done for you. Um, Just, if it doesn't happen, don't be mad at us. But we're just... Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're just simple human beings who love coding. So what would you... Yeah. So, so addressing a chat again, because Peon says I'm starting to get the vibe. What would you a, nice. consider the vibe of Coda to be? What would the main... What do you think that encompasses what Coda is? You know? Hmm. I think... I Okay, I, I will say... I, know, I don't want to answer a, a question with, with a negative statement, but I, I will say what Coda isn't. Uh, like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only okay. when you use Wolverine, that's when you're an asshole. But um, that's what it is. Yeah. Only Wolverine. <laughs> and Sentinel. But uh, <laughs> sorry, Abdul. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> you're a butthole when you pick Sentinel. But listen, um. Oh come on! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All these characters are cool. <laughs> Uh, I think the misconception of Coda is that it's 
it's stun into infinite into haha good game which <laughs> it feel like, it feel like <laughs> sometimes it feels like that but that's not what it is and it's it's truly not what we focus on when we play the game um yeah. and even then like okay so the people that can ha that have great uh what's the word execution can pull these things off and some characters are definitely better at at killing people with full on infinite combos like omega red who Pity tap you for a bunch of little yeah, hits, big right? Shout out. Shout out to Big Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but. Damn, I lost what I was saying. Yeah, it, it's really not a her her infinite game. Uh, to set up infinites, it's not hard, but it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. I think what's most important in this game is, is learning your confirms, uh, learning specific bread and butters for each character and each opponent that you're facing. Um, nice. And I think the best thing about about playing Coda is that every match can be taken as a learning experience because everybody, one, plays so differently from each other, plays so differently when you fight against uh, them. <laughs> and there's so much freedom of expression that no matter who you're playing, they may just play characters different. Uh, I will say, I'll bring up an example of, uh, if I'm going to put up some some VODs of our latest tournaments up on our, on our new YouTube so you can watch them, but... Uh, if you watch a couple of our last tournaments and watch Blaze Donuts here, who plays Omega Red, and watch Thunder Force, uh, our current weekly uh, champion, they play two very, very different styles. I think Marty is, is more towards aggression, whereas Thunder Force is extremely defensive with Omega Red and knows how to be patient and capitalize on, on advantage in his favor. Whereas Marty is just ruthless aggression. That's what I would consider it. <laughs> How, how would you describe your Omega Red playstyle? I don't want to talk for uh, you. Uh, extreme Rushdown. Yeah, Extreme Rushdown, which is translated to Anga Bunga. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can play really aggressive in this game or uh, with characters like Storm. I would even say Silox or uh, Cyclops. Cyclops, um, they can play a very good uh, keep away game where they're kind of super jumping and double jumping out of your way and sticking out their very big normals to uh, swipe you out if you're trying to get in on them. Which, that's kind of a thing with Omega Red at least. Like, if I'm trying to rush you down and you're trying to get away from me, if you're sticking out really big buttons and I run into them, I will take mad damage. Right. Here's, here's the thing about Coda, I will say also. Uh, every character has pretty big normals considering... Uh, they're only people. And, you know, that's Omega Red excluded. I mean, uh, that's Sentinel excluded, who's a robot. But <laughs> the characters in this game, they have extremely strong normals for the most part. Um, Storm, not so much. Looks, looks <laughs> like Heavy Punch from, from Like, Wolverine. just look at Standing Heavy Punch from Wolverine. I mean, he's got claws, but characters like Colossus can reach almost like 30% of the screen with his sweep uh, with a crouching hard punch. So big buttons is another another big thing about this game. It's a big, bombastic, unique fighter. It's probably one of the most unique fighting games I've ever played. And I always make this joke, but I say Koda is my favorite anime fighter, just because it's, it's everybody's so different and radically different from one another. It's 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 really cool. I enjoy this game a lot. Oh, first Marvel game from Capcom made something. You you know what's funny? Uh. One thing I like to put as a disclaimer, this game isn't your Marvel game, you know? This isn't a Marvel game. I mean, this isn't a versus game, you know? It has... It has stuff that makes you think, you know? That it's supposed to play the same. But this is way different than, say, like, MSH. I know a lot of people like MSH. It's not yeah. MSH. It's not MVC1. It's definitely not X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Like, if you want a game... Where you can shine on with your character and do whatever you want. I mean, this is it. And I would say it's a lot neutral heavy. Uh, you don't have assists, you know, you don't have other characters. You gotta, it's one and done. You gotta make it work with what you got. And sometimes what you got is real messed up like this. <laughs> <laughs> you've, gotta earn, you've gotta earn your hits, but when you land those hits, it's like, you. after you earn your hit, you have, you have to know how to capitalize on damage. Because a lot of things can confirm into, like, combos or just easy setups. Um, we got some matches, which if you all go on, what is it, Fight, fight, fight Kid Replays? Fight, fight Kid Vids. 
Um, we can watch some of the matches, some of our matches, and see how we play. And uh, I think recently me and Jay Destroyer played, and we got some pretty crazy confirms that you know we don't really expect. But if you kind of keep playing your game and stick out the buttons that you know work, it'll confirm into something. <laughs> Or you can capitalize <laughs> off of people falling down at a certain like speed and stuff like that. On wrong space and it's GG. Yeah, 100%. Like, I mean, we're still learning stuff to this day. Like, there'll be like with that match, we were having, we were having a long set, and we we're like, yo, you could do that, you know? And that has just happened a lot of times. Like, whoa, I didn't even know that that would combo into that from that distance or like from up there. Like, you could get a combo from off the screen if you want. You just gotta know how how they're gonna fall and stuff. Yeah, I I will say in in oh sorry Marty, not to cut you off. Go ahead. No, 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 you're good. Sorry, my bad. I was gonna say also in this game, uh, the throw is king. <laughs> combo is key. Com which combo is, is key, but why, throw is key. Which is also why meter is key. <laughs> right. So throw is key, meter is key, because you need to tech throws or else you're gonna get uh, infinite on you or a really big combo done on you. Also, the corner is. Is, uh, is a horrible place to be in this game. Don't be there. Yeah, don't be in the corner. The corner gives gives every character just way more advantage and, and way more combo opportunities. Corner is big sad. You yeah, don't want to be there. You do not want to be there. So it's, it's this cool metagame when you get in the corner, like, how am I going to get out? Is my opponent expecting me to jump? Are they expecting me to super jump? So, you know, if they're jumping trying to stop you, you can dash under. It, it becomes a little game within itself when you're in the corner. That's uh, why when you see, oh sorry. No, go ahead. I was like, that's why when you see people in neutral state, like in the middle of the screen, you'll super jump, but you won't super jump directly at them. You'll kind of super jump and steer yourself backwards to kind of like get that air positioning because you don't want to land into an anti air or a button or a Just, throw <laughs> or, or, or a throw. Right? You're like, stay away from me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna press a button and I'm not. I'm trying not to be near your throw range. So okay. another thing about another thing broken about Wolverine is that if he hits a button in the air and you hold back, he will literally fly back. <laughs> Wolverine's so, so good. He's how cool is that? Extremely oh, messed up. So and then he go wall jump. Yeah, I forgot he go wall jump after it. And then drill claw. Just move wherever he wants. Honestly, it's his. Yeah, thing. Yes. Yeah. He's, uh, He's like the Chun Li. Yes. Yeah, he's great. I'm pretty much great in every game he's in. Chun Li with claws and hairy arms, but uh, I, yes. <laughs> I think there's there's no other game that epitomizes like feeling like Wolverine than this game. I think this is the most Wolverine Wolverine is in any playable instance. <laughs> um, speaking of corners, we, I know we talked about corners, and this is an awful segue, so I apologize. Let's uh, let's show off Genosha. What characters? I could do Omega Red just because I know that uh, his combos don't really work. Like cool. That. Let's uh, let's go into Genosha, and then uh, if you guys will field some more questions, and then if you guys want to talk about your characters, I think that's a that's a good point. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, look at that big. <laughs> look at her body. Ladies and gents, this is Genosha. <laughs> your worst nightmare. Nice All right. To so with uh, Omega Red, he has a combo that he can do on Super Heavies, which is Fierce Roundhouse into Omega Strike Medium, which pops him up into the air. But again, on this corner, it doesn't combo at all because it's like a weird... Uh, Y'all can explain it because I don't really know what this is. So what he's getting at is if you notice within the corner that there's that little pillar, I can't really show it off. I don't know if you have your mouse, but right there where Sentinel is standing there's this broken pillar that will cause I believe it's like added hit stun but like ever so slightly that can either help or hinder your combos mostly hinder though like you see that that was supposed to combo and it didn't so basically um, con consider it like your your the opposing character when they're getting hit is also if you see the little crumbles there that's adding ever so slight amounts of, of stun. So it can interrupt your combo completely. It can make your character sink farther down than you than you expect them to. It's just it's cursed. And Genosha's yeah. cursed and It's not a fun time too. It's a good um, stage actually if you if you're Sentinel, like who's already a strong character. And now 
<laughs> yeah, it's you. Really hard to combo. Yeah, you have an advantage. There's there's stage advantage. We're Smash now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a, a means to to worry about what stage you're on because it makes a difference. Right. That combo could win you the game if you don't jump it. Right, and if you're in Genosha, you most likely will. <laughs> Go for a reset. Go for a reset. Yeah, resets do way more damage. Uh, the damage scaling in this game, I don't think we talked about it, is, is, is horrible. God awful. Um, I think once you're going on past your like fourth hit, things just won't really hit as hard. The scaling just goes down to giving you like pity tap damage. And that's why infinites are, while they are very prominent, like when you're actually playing, you know, like to win, you don't really do an infinite unless it's like it's gonna kill. Like unless sure. you oh. know you can kill with it. Yeah, because after like the first two or three reps, it's like oh okay, it's it's not really doing much. Just go for a reset. Uh, do we have any questions from our lovely audience? <laughs> What y'all got? Gripes, concerns, things that you lose to that you might not know how to deal with? We got it. We got answers, hopefully. But most likely. Characters you want to see, because there's a bunch that we haven't shot off yet. I want to see some Colossus bullcrap. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, that's Danny. Damn yeah, it. Like, Man, I just want to talk. I don't want to do work. Alright, cool, cool. I got you. <laughs> All right, uh, give me one moment. Let me load up my game, and I'll, I'll get Colossus running. You gonna play uh, Josh? Oh boy. <laughs> he, uh, Blue Rib said she would like to see Colossus and Sentinel. Who? Who plays Sentinel? <laughs> well, we can we can deduce. We can deduce. Yeah. yeah. we can learn on the fly. We'll all learn together. Cause honestly, I'm not I'm not a big I'm not a Sentinel guy. Do you want us to do it since we're already here? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's start off with Sentinel. I'm gonna get this ready to, to show off some Colossus. And, we can uh, uh, reset it, and I can just turn off the LUA. Yeah. Abdul, I know you play Sentinel a little bit, right? So you could probably just be the man in the chair. Yeah, he, I'm, he's mostly my second main wow. out of. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys want me, I can come in. I wouldn't say I get down most of his stuff, but I know ba most of his basics. Cool. Uh, I want you guys want to fire up a, a fight game, game and then yeah, yeah. yeah well, oh, we're sure. gonna fire a fight kid anyway, so okay. just switch over to your side, Dan, real quick. Yeah. Uh, let me let me switch over to to my side. Sorry. It's gonna be a blank screen, but it's better than looking at Marty's computer. No, <laughs> uh, I got cool wallpapers. <laughs> so am I challenging Marty, right? No, no. Uh, uh we're, we'll let Abdul show us some some pointers as the uh, sure, sure. Sentinel player. Abdul, challenge uh, uh, whoever you like. It could be Jay, it could be Blaze, it could be me. I'll play. Uh, All right, challenge. Uh, I never played against Blaze before, so I would like to play him. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Damn, son. I've been waiting for a good, a good while Let's to play go. with you. <laughs> Make him play on stream in front of everybody. All right, so let's do a couple exhibition matches, and then Abdul, if you like, you can show us some things that like, Sentinel can do. All right, wait for a second. Sure thing. Good. My man got called out. He said, "Yeah, right." Hollywood Marty, I'm coming for okay. you. <laughs> Watching this now, I'll talk about a couple things that I can. Oh. A lot of what I feel a lot of Sentinel's gameplay relies around knowing when to cancel into his rocket punch. Wow. Because that's a uh, that move does a hell of a lot of damage and stun. So when you get that hit, you're canceling into rocket punch, and it is going to do a grip of damage. 
Oops, I forget to turn my fly mode. <laughs> yeah, I would suggest teching, which is down and three punches. Whenever you get grabbed. Because you're a counter throw and you're able to counter jump. Like that, see? That's pretty fast, yeah. Oh god. Burr. A little burr, a little burr. Big burr. A little burr never hurt anybody. Nerver. Technical okay. difficulty. Sorry, I'm gonna mute this so that way you guys' ears are safe. Preserve. Oh. Pristine. The fight case. Bless Burr? Yeah, Peon. You already know. Any, but I'm sure anybody that plays Fight Kate understands, you know? That's how it be. So, I mean, uh, Abdul is in Japan and Marty's in the US, just to preface this this little Burr moment. Hmm. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> so, it's the beauty of rollback. I'm, I'm gonna try to reconnect to them, so we'll get that going. So, that's uh, another thing is Sentinel, Iceman, Psylocke, and who else? Is Colossus. Bosses can't tech the uh, the coils. It's just something that they got. They gotta hold that. Yep. <laughs> uh, just know you are gonna be fighting Omega Red, so keep that in mind. He's Sorry, very fellas. Popular. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and show it on from oh, Marty's uh, screen, which I'm still connected to. So. Doesn't Silox Stage have pillars like Genosha, or do those ones function differently? Or am I remembering wrong and there's no pillars at all? So mm -hmm. I think what you're referring to is Psylocke Psy stage has, I believe it's the movement. There's like that moving girder across the screen. I don't think Psylocke has like a pillar though. Unless I'm remembering incorrectly. We can give it a shot and try it out, but I don't recall that to be honest, to be quite honest. Oh my God. Big damage. Yeah, it's a girder. Um, it will so that's the thing about about this game actually uh one thing to note about those stages is that oh, there will no, be no. things that bo block your view and it'll happen it's not really like super bad yo shout out to mug what do you mean what happened for that tech <laughs> <laughs> um oh wow yeah. It's not super bad, but it is something to look out for, especially in stages like like Psylocke stage and the Danger Room. The Danger Room especially because there's that one part on the left side of the stage where I think like these pistons, uh, these pistons will keep hitting the floor and they'll like obscure both of the characters on screen. It's really funny, but it doesn't happen that often. And also the stingrays. Never forget the stingrays on uh, Danger Room that can block like your leg. Your feet. <laughs> I love those stingrays. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you'll know. Like it's it's hard to visualize now, but if we're on that stage, you'll see it. And you'll be like, oh okay. Oh. Like yeah, there, there's that Omega Red dominance <laughs> I've seen so much of. You gotta play that sick runaway game, Abdul. You gotta get the runaway storm going. It's a, it's a lot. It's easier said than done. I guess you're mad because you're, you're mad good at it against me. <laughs> oh. Well, for Sentinel, it's not nearly as simple. That's true. Ooh. Ooh, what? I don't even know what hit you, but okay. A little air ballet over here. And isn't that what code is all about? <laughs> wow. Oof, ride him. And oh. That's not a special so move, know. that's his hard punch. Yeah, so you know, this isn't your your Marvel 2, you know. Sentinel is not the same. Storm is definitely not the same. Like, there's crazy stuff that goes on here. Like that launcher that he usually does is just his medium kick. And he could super jump cancel it on block too. Oh, nice. The mug attack. Oh, oh no, drop. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, that's big nasty. Yeah, Omega that's... Ray has so much priority on his move. Yeah, yeah we... um... I don't really know any Sentinel techs. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of it would be that standing medium kick as yeah, well. Yeah, that standing medium kick definitely punishes a lot of stuff that I can do. And I believe like jump medium kick as well, when you angle it, you can kind of snipe them. But uh, the key thing is to always be above Omega Red and don't 
let him dunk you like that. Just always be above him and throwing out buttons so that he doesn't grab you. Yeah, that's... I feel like with counter throwers, especially super heavies, Omega Red just has a field day on you because he's able to not only throw you, but hit you with a coil that's untackable. Yeah, as Big Nasty was saying, those those like girders or the pillars in the stage of uh, Psylocke do block your vision. Because that stage, I believe, is moving. Bam, bam. Gosh. That did a, a lot of damage. <laughs> what a cool character. Character that has. I can't believe I grabbed you ahead of that, that's insane. I didn't even know you could grab that move. That's tech. Write that down. Mm. So, you should tech roll because Senno has the fastest tech throw in the game. Or tech roll in the game because uh, if you tech roll, I won't be able to re grab you off the coil. Ooh, tech it. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh, counter throw. Yo, we got throw out forward. <laughs> I uh, yeah, sure. Avoid jumping too high. Yeah, don't worry. I get dunked like that as well. It hurts my soul. Slam dunk. All right, let's do another. Uh, match. something. Yeah. I'm seeing. I think something one should do if Sentinel is like, um, when you do jump down MP, you can, uh, how to say? Basically, something like this. Basically, let let you oh, instantly yeah, do your it. jump attack smarter more. Yeah, you cancel that. Yeah. So yeah. the down middle punch halts your air momentum, and then you can cancel that into a kick, so you can get some nice nice floating moves. Also, his jump heavy punch the flying pan. You gotta whack him. Whack him with it. Also, one thing to know is it's very important to super jump cancel with Sentinel. Just so every, you don't I get think every character, honestly. Yeah, in general. Yeah, in general, like for just overall movement and like flexibility on base control, cancel your, you know, your high recovery normals into a nice super jump so you can control that aerial space. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if you can do anything about that. Magic <laughs> button. He can hit the M, M cake is the magic button. It definitely is. That, it counts as a projectile, so if you're a projectile character, that will most likely eat it. I did not know that. Yeah, the grenades are projectiles. Sick. Sentinel sick. Wow, Sentinel I didn't think you'd grab me. <laughs> nice. Sentinel's grab range is massive. What do you mean? That's accurate damage after all. He is a robot. Yeah, he's doing big robot damage. Ooh, Ooh cancel. Ooh. Playing air games. Wow. Oh, no. Not like this. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Oh, no, that's the last war, Mini war going on here. Oh, nice. snap. Oh, uh, no. When a good thing goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ran it. Caught him. Watch his toes. All I right. think this is one of my favorite Finnish animation. <laughs> I love everyone. He's taking him to the uh, the lab test. All right, we gotta I test out his muty genes. You guys want to do one more, or do you want to go right into uh, Colossus, my man? Let's go, let's go to Colossus. You go All right, so this is the end for us, right? Yeah. Good yeah. game. Okay. All right, good games. All right, guys. Thanks for playing, fellers. Uh, let me set up my fight kit so that I have Sentinel, I mean, uh, Colossus on the screen. So yeah, I keep going through all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> put, uh, put your private banking details on. Alright, it's on my screen. You're free to move around your screen. Sorry for holding you, for holding you hostage. Oh uh, yeah, thank you for putting the link in the... Oh, that Coda lobby looking real, real nice. Good size. Indeed. Yeah, so we're thinking of doing this. This isn't going to be the last one we're doing, too. So if you miss it, don't worry. But uh, 
hopefully we do catch you. Yeah, when we get some newer players, we'll probably fire up another one. But, uh, yeah. Let me see if I got a save stage. Oh, even the intro shows the hit, the hit box. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, isn't that dope? Man. Peon really outdid himself with this, because I've been wanting something like this for a long time. I was complaining about it the other day. Yeah, uh, props to Peon. No, the only thing... That would make it perfect in my eyes is those gold boxes. But I know, I know you're busy. But <laughs> that, that wiki, you that wiki lacking. The wiki lacking with those throw boxes. We need to tell the people how ridiculous Colossus's throw range is. Right, let's we get some audio them. here. A little, a little bit of audio. I looked into the throw box and it looked weird. Yeah. So like, because there's no data, it's hard. Like. Because this game is very throw dependent, uh, knowing that throw data is like hella vital. Okay. Omega Red dunks you. Yeah, he will dunk you. I feel like like not many characters can co contest Omega Red's air throw. That's maybe that's just how I feel, but like nah, I, that move triggers active. me. OD triggers me. Go for it, bro. Alright, cool. So, uh, this is Colossus. Probably, I would say my second favorite character to use. Yeah. Um, Sec? yeah. Storm? Storm is, Storm is the queen. We okay. love the queen. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what I, the way I play Colossus is, is like a, like a fake ghetto grappler. Because there, he doesn't really have a command throw. Uh, you may see this move used from time to time, but this is actually a hit throw. So those of you who play KOF know what I'm talking about. Um, it has to make contact with the opponent in order to actually start and initiate the throw. And there's rules to it too, because you can't hit it off the ground. Um, you can't trade with it either. If you trade with it, you won't initiate the throw. You'll just both be standing there looking mighty stupid. So yeah, that's that move. What you want to focus on when you're playing Colossus are when and how to use his gigantic freaking normals, right? So, this jab right here is fantastic. It's fast. It's not as fast as like moves like uh, Omega Red jabs, which are beast. But, I mean, it hits far. It's got a decent hitbox. And the best thing about it is you can rapid cancel it. So if you're lazy, and you want to do a couple hits before you confirm into something like a sweep, you have plenty of time to just jab away. Um, also, it's a true block string, so if they're blocking it, you will be locking them down with these jabs, but getting slowly pushed out. Uh, when it comes to guarding Colossus, one of the best things about this character is all of his normals do chip damage on block. There's a few characters who also have this ability, and they can take advantage of it just as much as Colossus, but I think for him it's a it's a big strength, because you want to sort of maximize your offense by pressuring your opponent with jabs, right? Lock them down, get them in the flow where they will need to answer you, because they're getting chipped all day, so you can set up for throws, uh, push them into the corner. You basically are forcing your opponent to make a decision, and if anybody who's better than me can sort of read their opponents and read the decisions that they've been making you can totally capitalize on whiffs with big moves like that if you're pushed out um, you can dash in and get some throws going or more hit confirms into cool colossus things like this move right here is actually this is a really good button so if you can punish a whiff with that against cyclops you can get a, a nice uh, corner combo So yeah, uh, you want to you want to really use your big normals and set up your offense, and then really go for the throw because that's Colossus's bread and butter. Um, Can you some, explain the uh, the throw like the, the off side club text and then you regrab. Say that or one more time. Two. The regrab with Colossus. Like regrab like uh, if, yeah, like if Cyclops text, you can regrab him in the air. Well, actually, you can't grab Cyclops. Omega Red, you can't. Oh, okay. Um, oh, because of the handstand. 
Yeah, the handstand, and then uh, certain characters, you can actually chase them down on their recovery, whether they insta-tech or they do their late tech. Um, Cyclops has the benefit of being invincible for both, so you can chase him down and set up more block strings, but you can't re-throw him, per se. The characters like Omega Red, you can. Um, Marty, you want to join up on Parsec and show some Omega Red stuff after this? Cool. What kind of Omega Red stuff? Uh, when you select Omega Red, I'll be Colossus. I'll show the regrabs, but then you can go into Omega Red stuff. Okay, so some notable buttons. I already explained the jab. This middle punch right here is big, beefy, and it actually goes out really far with... If you can look at the screen, I'm going to put my cursor on. Can you see my cursor or no? No. All right, never mind. But it has no real hurt box. The hurt box is on Colossus's body. So, for characters like Wolverine, who have massive buttons, this is a good button to trade with him with. And it's also your option select into your throw. So, I would say, get comfortable with this button. You will be using it a lot if you're mashing throw. It's gigantic. It trades. And it has some pretty decent spacing. Um, hard punch is good. If you'd like reaching farther than your middle punch, it reaches about the same as your sweep, maybe a little less. Um, I don't use this move too often unless... You sound a little muffled, I'm sorry. Sorry. Can you hear me clear now? You're good. So I don't use this move too often unless I know my opponent can't reach me and I sort of outspace them or trade or try to hit their buttons with my button. Um, if I am trying to really, really punish my opponent and not space them, I like to use Crouching Hard Punch instead of this, because it does reach farther. It is as far as reaching normal, it reaches farther than in his sweep. It's a massive button, and not a lot of people expect this move. Uh, one downside is that it's really, really slow. But once again, I think the space more than makes up for it. Um, this okay, you move... can throw the normal. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can continue to iron mm -hmm. So I'm pretty bad at super canceling this, but yeah, you can to make it safe. Um, some I never use this. This is his command hard punch. It's pretty tricky to set up, but it has a ton of stun on it. Like it'll stun you in two hits. I'm gonna let it reset and just. I'll do two of those, and Cyclops will be dizzy. One, and... Whoop, two. Uh, a good thing about this is that it actually puts him in that grounded stun. Well, not a good thing, but something to note. I think there's only... Specific to him and Sentinel, right? Him, Sentinel, and Juggernaut can put you in this state. Oh, yeah. So that is... I want to call it a splat dizzy. And the reason why they have this is because they can capitalize off of it by picking you off the ground. Like so. But yeah, we'll go into that a little a little later. Um, so yeah, that move. Mm, I only have one semi-practical use for it, and that's uh, uh, this. If you can land that, I think with Cyclops I have to use my kick. So let's... If you can nail that, it's pretty much auto-dizzy in one combo. Anyways, it's not really that practical or that useful. It's got really short range, a long wind-up, a really long recovery. It's not a very useful move. I don't like it. I don't use it. Yeah. Again, this whole game is a free-form game, so you can kind of come up with stuff on your own. Uh, you just have really good, a lot of crazy freedom in this game, so if... You just lab it enough, you could probably find a use for some of the stuff. Right. Unless not the yeah. <laughs> uh, I think to note, uh, Colossus doesn't really have a good wave dash because his dash doesn't start up instantly. He does a little, a little wind up, a little baby wind up. He's doing the touchdown run. Uh, the quarterback. Yeah. Um. So let's go on to his kicks, and then we'll go on to some of his aerials just to explain 
how good this character is. This knee I don't really use for anything besides combos. It will lead into his middle punch, which will lead into the majority of his struggles. Um, this standing kick is good for trades. It's got a decent length. It's way quicker to use than this middle punch. And I, I don't use it so often in spacing, but there are instances where it can be useful. Especially if you're dashing up and you want to just stick a limb out and it gives them a nice push back. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely, if I'm coming in, I'm charging in, I want to use the spacing tool, but don't want to really put myself out there. I'll use this, but I, again, uh, middle punch is probably the button you want to go to in this range True. because of how long your throw rate is. This is a great button. This is Colossus's best anti-air move and his launcher all in one. It's a great tool. If you can predict your opponent coming down, it's a little slow, so you're going to have to play a little guessing game when you do throw it out. But if you connect with it, you can get some air combos. I think even for mid-screen, he can do something. Let's see that. Get out. So yeah, even mid-screen, you do have confirms from that move. So it's, it's really one of the better moves to throw out if your opponent is trying to lock you down from the air moves. Power lunges, yeah. Good. Also, remember if you stick it out and uh, it doesn't hit, you can either super jump ha cancel it or you could uh, cancel it into the shoulder. That's that PS1 type. Yeah. <laughs> that outside. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's that's a great move. You want I love, to show, I love this move. Uh, uh, let's go into some, some. I won't. I won't explain the rest of the moves. I mean, the rest of the normals. You know, if you're crouching, you want to hit this button. If you're looking for spacing, sweep obviously for spacing and a knockdown. So you want to take advantage of that. This is your uh, soft launcher, so it doesn't launch them as high as this, but it will put them in a range where you can get some good combos and use out of it. And crouching jab for pressure. Kick. I don't really use too much unless I'm trying to OTG them. Yeah. Uh, another great normal for him is jumping hard punch. This right here, so it, it alters Colossus's air momentum. So if I just jump and do it, it's going to carry him forward, right? So you can use this move to actually give Colossus a bit of momentum in the air, give him some mobility that he kind of sorely needs because he's kind of a slow character. Uh, I'll show you his normal jump arc and his jump arc with that it's pretty link, good length of screen you're taking up when you do that it's about I would say two cyclopses away from where he started <laughs> <laughs> and then you can be right in his face a lot a lot of use uh, I, I have for this is I like jumping over them making them whiff an anti-air and then punishing them with a throw and then setting up for nasty colossus things yeah. but yeah this is a great move and it's it's really beyond his hurt box, so it's great for sniping moves out of the air. As an anti-air, you can do it a whole bunch of times before you land, or well, twice really. Um, yeah, it's just a solid option and a good move for Colossus. This is another good move if you're going from air to ground. Bunga bunga. The this, beat on the drop, right? Right. I mean, it's got a massive hitbox. It crosses up. It's, Look at that. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me show it's you. It's just a big rectangle. Yeah, big red rectangle. But yeah, massive move. It crosses up. You can stay on the same side, cross up. It's great for uh, chasing techs. I love chasing techs with this move. Whack them. Whack them all on your head. Uh, another good one is this one. It, it's also similar to this. Except you're stationary and it goes out a bit further, I would say. And this is also good for sniping moves air to air. And the good thing about this is this has a hitbox in the back of it. So you can cross up with this move too with the proper timing. Or stay on the same side. That's nasty. Yeah. I'll just use auto block for it. <laughs> 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 I don't want to block that. Go also, if your opponent's trying to be sneaky and, and dash under you or behind you, 
You can throw that move out to sort of try to kick them in two spots. Double kick. The Tatsumaki. Yo, that was disgusting. Yeah. That's, that's, some anime. Yeah, that's, that's some anime. <laughs> <laughs> that's some anime stuff going on there. Yep. Uh, you want to show over OR, OR, right? The OR army? Yes. Uh, let me just go through some... some a little, a little more. Uh, when it comes to Colossus's throws, primarily against most characters, you want to use this one. That's his middle punch throw. That's what leads to his big combo damage in the corner. Damn. Fuck Cyclops. Um. Wow. You can you can turn off the health regen if you want to show like damage too. You want to see some how much damage it does? Yeah, I guess I, I, can, I, I can cut the loose grip and we can show some damage. But uh, let me just explain that throw a little more. So that sets up for OTGs and your best juggles. So as soon as they land, you really have the freedom to do anything you want. Uh, against characters like Cyclops, if they're not mashing their throw tech, you can hit this, sweep, pick them up, and then get even more damage off his throws. You don't, you don't have to cut the script, by the way. It's in the, the menu. You can do it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's... Leave it to last option? Something like that? Like in the, the other, yep. yeah. Cool. Uh, let's, let's see some dummy damage. Alright, so... Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Yeah. I guess I, I lied. I, I might have fucked up. It might have been me. But, uh, yeah, let's... At this point, he's pretty much dead. Oh my goodness. Yeet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... He's done. The, yeah. the best part about Colossus is he does huge fucking damage on his normals. Also helps that his normals just does cheap damage in general. Yep. Uh, yeah. He's got this throw also, which is pretty good for um, heavyweights. You want to throw your heavyweights up in the air. But yeah, for, for Colossus, you definitely want to throw, get some combos, get some stun, and then get some more damage rolling. So yeah. I don't really have much else to say. Like Everything else is just explaining Colossus' combos. Um, right? Did I miss anything? Tackle? Yeah. So uh, you can cancel tackle. Tackle's a pretty good move. It deflects projectiles. Does a lot of stun. Um, connects off of sweep, and you can make it safe by canceling it a frame after you hit. So after you see the hit stop, you can press back and kick, and then just stop the move itself. See? But yeah. That move is his super. It hits on the way up. It's invincible when it starts. It's great for guard canceling if they're close to you. And it's also character dependent safe or unsafe so if you're hitting sentinel with that raw it is not a safe move he will recover before you do so be very selective on who you do your super with but yeah um i don't really have much more to explain about colossus i think he's a great character i think he's really good for beginners if you just want to learn how to capitalize on throws and do big damage without thinking too much and I'm I'm not that smartest guy in the world, so I don't like thinking. So, <laughs> Colossus is great. Thinking, and my coda. I don't do that. Get that yeah. out of here. So yeah, um, Just grab. if you guys can fire up the parsec and we can get some Omega Red stuff going. Uh yeah, give me one moment. I'm gonna connect to my. Mhm. Mm when you guys are ready, I'll shift over to y'all. All right, cool. I'm in there. All right, cool. All right, thanks. I'm gonna switch over, and it's the balls in your court. All right, so I'm explaining Omega Red. I'm explaining Omega Red. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Okay, so Omega Red is extremely good. Best character, besides Wolverine. <laughs> uh, so his normal walks are decent. Walks faster uh, forward than back. 
but he's one of the characters, or he's actually the only character that has the lowest crouch in the game. Oh, oh wait, no. so, so we could uh, we could actually yeah, that normals. But he also has the light optic blast, which completely whiffs over me. I see that. See. <laughs> Another reason why not yeah. to do this. <laughs> and uh, he also has a combo, three hit combo that does mad uh, stun, or just stuns like that. But we're gonna go for the normal. So his jab is actually really good. If you are in some sort of squabble with them walking towards you at the beginning of the round, sometimes if you stick this out, it's uh, it'll chain together. So pretty good. <laughs> light kick, um, I wouldn't say the light kick is useful other than to, uh, this is kind of a more advanced thing. Um, when you press this fierce, which is a really good button as you can see. Wow, um, did you see that? Did he go through? The fierce made him low so that it went. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's nuts, so, do to me. Don't use optic blast. So, fierce could uh, get cancelled, with Omega Red specifically, the punches could cancel into the kick. So if you, I do uh, fierce, Instead of waiting for the recovery, I can literally just light kick, so. Uh, for those of you who play anime games, specifically Melty Blood, that is a reverse beat. And then, so that's the jab. Jab is really good. His standing medium punch is a really good launcher, and you, as you can see with the hitboxes, it's ridiculous. But, one thing to note is if you're doing a dash MP, um, it will make them fly farther. Like, if I just do a, a regular standing MP on Cyclops, he will fly normally, like that. And if I do a dash one, he'll fly farther. Like that. Sworn sense. Um, other than you that, get the meal, you gotta get the, uh... is, I wouldn't really call it a poke because it's so, um, so much recovery. But again, with super jumps, you can cancel it and you can actually get out of there. Did you, uh, did you explain? Like the term, uh, Suki cancel. So, Suki canceling is when uh, you can cancel a normal move into a super jump. So, you can literally do it. Do it to anything. Like that, see? But it's really better to cancel it like that. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything else with uh, his standing normals, but his air normals, like his roundhouse, as you can see, is super active. Um, it does cause a, I don't know if you'll call it a crumple or some sort of like stun, but he can always confirm it into his coil like that. So it's like I hit stun. Like that's guaranteed and jump in the air for me please. Just keep jumping in the air. Um, when you do it in the air, uh, it causes them to bounce out and you can actually grab again for like a two hit. Um, Another thing is with his coils, he could either drain your health or drain your super meter. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you go for. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's really all about what you need. Like for counter for characters, I try to drain their meter just because having meter is extremely good against Omega Red. Um, so another thing that he has is a dash. So he has. He can air dash, which makes him super mobile. And he can actually air dash after coils, so he can do it. stuff like that. But since the coil counts as a throw, he can only do a maximum of two coils. Two coil grab. So if I grab, oh damn. If I grab him, I can go like that and then do it again. But if he's already been grabbed twice, it'll go right through him and I won't be able to do that. Um. Other than that, I feel like his light punch, his super jump light punch is extremely good because it's super active as you can see. It's like fully active. <laughs> like that. So if you were to do a, if you were to do a medium punch in the, in the corner, you can go into the infinite. Like that. This game has infinite? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, sorry all if you're seeing that on my screen, my computer's starting to chug a little bit, so his resolution is... For, for the performance Is there any way right to like, disable the warning? Or no? I would love to. I, I wish I knew how. But, uh. Uh, another thing that I actually just found out recently was that if 
Uh, Omega Red throws the opponent out of a coil close to the, the corner. He will throw him up like that, like a, a little ragdoll bouncing off the floor. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think of, a, of something oh, like useful. Oh, so his air, his air HP is extremely good. Because look, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, you're hitting him. You're not. So, um, the property on that is if I hit it in the air, I gotta do it in the corner. If I hit it in the air, uh, it'll make the opponent, which, with this as reference, you see how they stay in the air? Um, if I do it, like, it makes them fall a little faster. So if they're already falling, like, pretty fast, or pretty slow, you can bring them down with that move. That. Yeah, it's very active, but, uh, you could do just crazy stuff. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't really think of anything else now. Can I, um, can I say something? Sure. The, uh, I found this tech out, I think, yesterday I was talking with. Uh, Ivan, uh, do that run medium punch into the medium omega strike that you do normally. Take a look at this. Hold on, do it, do it close, do it close, like mad close. So, uh, but if you do it right in front of me, look what happens. Like right in front without dashing. See that? So, depending on on uh, his distance, you know. Or how early you cancel this. Uh, that'll just completely whip, you get thrown, and, <laughs> and then you get stunned. So you have to and take know that he can cancel that move, the Omega Strike, for pressure. And so he has two throws. He has a medium punch throw, which is actually the one that you shouldn't be doing, because he just does that and doesn't really give you a follow-up. You should be doing his HP Fierce uh, throw, because he bounces you, and it goes into the... Stuff like that. If he's in the corner, it's pretty much a uh, instant stun. If he doesn't have meter, like that. So um, another thing with his, I guess I didn't even explain that. Um, he has two moves. He has the regular coil, which drains meter or health, and then he has his omega strike, which. Oh, well, I didn't know there's a coil that drains meter. Yes, so if you if you jab or mash on the punches, it drains his health. If you mash on the kicks, it drains his meter. Man, so he can... has everything. <laughs> yeah, he's extremely good. That's a um, cheat character. His Omega Strike, which he can do in three ways. He can also do his Omega Coil in three ways. Uh, jab is straight. Um, medium Punch is... No. And then his um, Fierce goes straight up. And if you're in the air, uh, if you do medium kick, he'll do it diagonal down. And if you do roundhouse, he'll do uh, straight down. If you light kick, he'll do it straight. Um, with his Omega Strike, he has one that goes straight, which is light. Uh, medium goes diagonal, and then the same roundhouse goes up. Uh, during this move, if you press down and any kick, he will cancel it. So, if you don't do anything, he will go straight. And if you press down and kick, he will cancel it. Which, that utility, it's really good against uh, Sentinel. Because if you do standing medium punch into this and cancel it, you'll come down with medium punch, medium punch again, and then do it. So, it goes into this infinite, as people don't like to do. But, um... Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much all uh, Omega Red has, but he does have a ridiculous super that does a lot of damage, which is the Omega Destroyer. Oh my I've goodness, oh look my at God. that. I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> I've never Nick. seen that before, but... Uh, that's crazy. His air throw is extremely good, too. So if there people are in the air oh, with you, slangy. don't be afraid to... To get yeah, to get close to him and just grab. Uh, I wish I had uh, so long. like that, and then it can go into crazy stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff. I mean, I think that's you that's got, a lot of stuff. You got the important stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, any questions? Definitely. Any questions for Omega Red? Why he's so cheap? Why so, so I could do. <laughs> I could I guess demonstrate a few combos against uh. 
Cyclops, you got the boring <laughs> light light punch punches. Um, then you got light kick into medium kick into roundhouse. Or no, it's into roundhouse. So. Why is Omega Red so light great? medium kick? The roundhouse, Pierce into roundhouse. Yeah, Omega Red is, is the Swiss Army knife of the game, and he has the colors to match. Yeah, uh, super yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Other than that, you could probably find some other confirmed combos, uh, but that takes playing the game. You can confirm into coils and stuff like that. Like, let me show them the bounce real quick. Uh, let's see. If he's too close to the corner, he will bounce it. Oh my god. Now it's not working. Page right, let's get it. Oh, it's not working now. Weird. It might not work on Cyclops because he's got a thick. Uh... Nah, he did it, he did it. Yeah, I did do it. But um, that's Cold kind it. of a more specific thing. You're not really going to get it every time. Nah, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> I'll end up trying it and putting it in the Omega Red channel just so y'all can see it. Oh my goodness. Did you see the hitbox and the coil? Do the coil again? It does stay active for a while too. If you, yeah, look at, look at the... <laughs> if you let it ride, um, I didn't even explain that. If you press any button, the coil will come back while it's up. So you can kind of make it a little safer. But if you just let it go, it will stay out and stay active the entire time. I gotta say, the reason yeah. we're not stressing B and Bs is because the way the combos work in this game against different characters is that combos will change, so it's 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 not a smart move to tell you how to do one combo because it won't necessarily work on everything. Yeah. Because like, the stuff I'm explaining to y'all is basically kind of only work on Cyclops. <laughs> the entire stream. So sick. Yeah. Omega Red owns. It. So good, so fun to play. So I would say he's an easy character to pick up. Uh, if you go higher level, he's definitely um, messed up. I wouldn't say Wolverine level of messed up, but he's pretty messed up. I mean, the guy can do anything. I think for people that play the game and, and stick with this character, you'll be rewarded with tons of scenarios that you can easily come out of on top. Jeez, the whole damn screen. That's uh, yeah. Uh, we we want to field some more questions, but it's it's been going on for about two hours. We're looking at some wrap up time. So, does anyone have any questions? Any questions at all? Thank you. Hey, no problem. Thank you for joining no us. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So, like we said, we're planning to do this maybe once a month. Uh, so, look for another community event happening in July. It may not necessarily be the same one as this. And, uh, July. yeah. July. I, I keep saying July, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's happening in seven months. Yeah, but, um. <laughs> once a year. Once a year. Screw it. Twice a year. <laughs> oh, my God. How can I even hit that in parsec? But yeah, uh, we're, we're planning to do this. The next one should be in January. We're looking for for something to do. If not, if we don't have any ideas that, that really strike us, we will come up with another just another quick tutorial stream, maybe uh, explain some more character breakdowns the more we learn. And uh, j just keep your eyes on the, on, on the code of Discord, on our Twitter. Oh, follow that Twitter. Yeah, follow our Twitter. Uh, we'll, we'll be providing some updates. Um... Tick throwing in this game, okay, to answer that question real quick. That's difficult. It's tick throwing in this game is almost non existent because what happens is when your opponent goes into block stun, I believe they have 10 frames in which you cannot throw them right after. 10? Bruh. Yeah, and they can throw you. So basically, if you're, tr if you're trying to tick throw your opponent, they will yeah, always cool. throw you first. So wait, wait, let me show you. Hold on, let me show an example of something that happens to me legit all the time. So block. So what I'll do is I'll be like, Hold on. I'm sorry, it froze. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, 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 hold on. Okay. So what I'll do a lot is uh this, you know, do my little thing, right? Wow, it actually worked that time. But 
I'll do like my pressure and whatnot, and you see me. Wow, bro, I've never gotten this many kills. I'll be like, okay, like that. You'll see me get a uh, heavy punch in front of them. Instead Marty, of are you trying to throw him? I think it, you need to throw the show the example that you're you're throwing him in. in because if you don't press anything, he's always going to throw you. So. Yeah. If you can do yeah. some pressure strings, and then Marty will throw you out of it. Yeah, you will get you'll get thrown because if you're like already walking forward, like you have to stay still and then do it. You can't be off momentum and then try to do it because you're and not. Then, gonna... um, I didn't even explain this kick, this medium kick, which has extremely good uh, horizontal range. Um. Oh. It does really good if you're trying to get some. It's a, basically a back off me button. So if they try to da dash in on you, it will smack them straight out. Or if uh, they're just trying to pressure you really hard, like I know Wolverine, Mug, Shoutouts, uh, tries to come down with HP. And this, if you're at a certain distance, will hit it clean. But yes. Omega Red for you. I'm liking it. Uh, and don't worry, I will find the anti Omega Red tech for. To destroy the Omega Red Army, so. <laughs> oh, what about canceling a dash? Like, dash, forward, tap, back, throw. Oh, okay. So, no, so he means, like, to get a dick throw consistently. So, he, I think he was, like, hold back so you can stop your dash and then grab. See, but that's, like, you'll get a weird... So basically, if, if you're trying to take and the opponent's sticking out a button, you're, you're not going to get the take, and the dash doesn't give you any you're opportunity. Gonna, you're going to end up getting smacked. Like, yeah, or thrown. Because people, people are always throwing buttons out in this game. That's the thing. And and I'll tell you, ticks, ticks don't work. They just they just don't work in your favor. Unless your opponent is, is so afraid to hit any yeah, button, they, they won't get ticked. Yeah, you're going to get smacked. And trust me, coming from ST, I play boxer, and I tick throw a lot. And when I try to play this game like that, it does not work at all. I would not even try it. Yeah, I like tick throwing a lot because, you know, throwing in this game gives you a, ha a huge advantage. That's probably why tick throwing doesn't work, because you would win every match. Yeah, counter throw baiting, I guess. I mean, like I said, the main name of the game is you want to stick your buttons out. You want to hit them. With the By the way. I think what uh, Arctic was trying to say was, um, we, like, stop your dash and throw it after, which you can kind of do. Like, if you're in front of your opponent, just tap back and uh, a throw button, and you can get a throw off of them. Like, I'm doing it right now. That? That's just Omega Red privilege right there. Oh, was that was that the the throw bait or whatever? You try to throw? Uh, no. I pressed, I pressed. It just the came button. out. It I just pressed, came out. I pressed the button. I whiffed, and you got me. Yeah, Omega Red has ridiculous stuff. Yeah, Omega Red is very. Cool. Yeah. Oh, like that? <laughs> That's a big feels bad. That's gonna happen to you a lot. Um, it's important that you just keep your calm though, because they will drop the infant. There's a lot of times where they will. Uh, don't think that you're dead, unless it's, you know, Never give up. super simple, but you can always get ready to tech roll, uh, get ready to tech your throws, because if you don't, you will die. And if you're mashing, you will get a reset. Oh yeah, stop, do not mash when you get hit, because you'll just keep getting hit. And for the collapse pay, don't do optic blast. <laughs> you're ready. We've You're established uh, <laughs> how bad the, the optic blast is. Okay. Optic trash. Don't do it. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, we're going to wrap up. I just want to say a few things before we head out of here. Uh, namely, number one, thanks for watching. All right. Uh, so the whole point of this little community event was, one, to show our new players, you know, some cool things about Coda, some things to learn. Um, this is a function of our Discord. It's called the Danger Room, right? So this is just an extended version of that. Um, there are players there, there's mods there, and there's always people who are willing to answer your questions. And I think the greatest thing about Coda is learning. 
So even if nobody has an answer for your question, come to the danger room. You know, find somebody else I'll to partner it. up with. Yeah, and and test I'll it out. Test like, it. like that storm glitch. Yeah. Um. I I think that's one of the strengths of our Discord is you can come on in, uh, hit us up, learn some tech, have some fun, chill, and uh, you know, play a cool ass game, which is Coda. That's... And literally, if you have any like thing that you're theorizing could happen, because I feel like you should kind of come up with. Uh theories on how people play or how characters can react given it's within the limit of the character um if you think something works again come in and we will test it until we can actually 100 percent say that it does not work because <laughs> yeah. uh, me and josh have been doing some crazy stuff within the past couple of weeks and yeah we've been putting a bunch of hours in so yeah there are people here who who, who want to see coda flourish we want people. We want people to come. We want people to be enthusiastic. We want people to ask questions, and we want to find answers more than anything because we love this game. So yeah, please uh, follow us on Twitter so that way you can get more updates on what we're doing when we're doing it. Join the Discord if you're not here already. I think majority of you are. Um, if you know somebody who might be interested in this game, just let them know. Tell them about it. Uh, we're gonna be throwing up some vods on the YouTube. We're gonna be throwing this up on the YouTube so that way you can pull back to it. And uh, yeah. I think we're a pretty cool, inclusive community, and we would love it if more players would come and play some Coda with us, because we love our new players, we love Coda, and we love the game. Yeah, uh, any, any of you guys want to give some, some, some love before you head out? Uh, shout out to Mug, uh, but hey, you can join us today, you know, but... I'm right here. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't even know you were in here. My bad. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you just <fell> off. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't hear anything. Conclusion. What? What was that? No I Mug. Didn't hear, I didn't hear anything. You're mad, though. Uh, yeah. I, I'll say for sure, you know, shout out to everybody, you know, without you guys, this Discord wouldn't be as big as, as it is, you know? I wouldn't imagine that... It went from three people playing Coda, like IRL, to like a, a Discord with a bunch of people wanting to play. Um, like I said, like uh, Ivan said, keeping our new players is the important part, getting them to learn. Because I'm personally, if you see, I'm always online. So you can just at me, uh, J Destroyer. Any questions or concerns or help or whatever, I'm always there. Um, yeah, and I want you guys to learn with me and. All of us together. Yeah, Half before we end the, before the end, we end the stream, I want to uh, mention like big thanks to uh, Peon for uh, the Kota exhibition going later on. Uh, if y'all join the Heritage for our future server, you'll see that there's a charity exhibition coming soon. We're looking really looking forward to that. And yeah, peace. All right, that's, guys. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Peace and love. Play Coda. All right, guys. Have a great evening. <laughs>